When you live stream here on YouTube and you click that go live button, sometimes you're not exactly sure exactly when the live stream is starting and you can end up looking like this for about five seconds and that is not a good look to start your live stream. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can edit your live stream video so that folks watching on the replay don't have to watch your stunned mullet face for five or 10 seconds. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music and live streaming videos because live streams are something that I've been doing for over a year now on YouTube. And one of the most frustrating things is that when you hit the go live button and you're just sitting there going, I wonder when it's actually starting and then you start talking and then you watch the replay and you realize it's just you scratching yourself for 10 seconds before the live stream starts. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how we can dive in and edit. And I'm gonna show you using my most recent live stream that I did just this morning so that we can actually cut out my opening segment where I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Let's jump in now. So here we are in my creator studio dashboard. Now I could just click in the top left here because this is my latest video, which was my live stream from today. But what I'll do is I'll click on videos here in case it's an older video you want to edit. And I'm here in live. So at the top here, we've got uploads and we've got live. I'm here in the live button and I'm going to come down to the, the most recent live stream here, my best iPad and iPhone for music creation. So I'm gonna jump into here, and then I'm gonna click on the editor button over here on the left. So this is gonna bring me into this nice dark mode here in YouTube Creator Studio, and this is my editor view. So here is Pete's face ready to have his live stream, but here's the problem, is that I stood there for quite a while before the actual video kicked in. So if we hit the play button, we can see that there I am. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm still waiting. Is it on? Is it live? Am I going? Yes, I'm going. Do you have one of these? And there I talk. So we've got a nearly 10 seconds worth of time here that we need to edit out here. Now, how do we fix this? All we need to do is click on the trim button here. We're gonna cl click on trim, and then we can actually move this blue line here we can move this forward and backward to actually be the right spot. But you might say, well, that's too zoomed out. Well, no problem. Up here on the top right, we've got this zoom control. So I'm gonna zoom it in. I like to use it probably the second to most zoomed in spot here. And that gives us, you can see here, we've got this is the entry bit. No sound, no sound, no sound. There's Pete going, and then there it is where I actually start talking. So let's just play this here. Do you have one of the There's my... And I, I, I do that deliberately, I don't really, but that is my point where I need to edit it in. So here is the point, so there's my click, and then there we, there we are, and probably just around there is about where I wanna bring this in. So all I need to do is grab this blue handle, drag this trim handle just after that little noise, and put it around about there and release, and there we are, eight minutes, 24. That's how much I can release, uh, I can remove from this. Now, if we had a problem at the end of the video here, we could also trim the end. So let's just come into here, and I think we're okay. We just drag along here. Now, what I might do is I'll zoom out so that we don't have to do all that dragging, and then we can zoom in here at the end and drag along. And I think I do the ending okay. Let's hit play. Drop a comment and let me know uh, how you went. Weekend. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Cheers. Okay, Pete, you've done well. I've clicked the end button without a problem. So we do not need to trim the end. If you did need to, all you need to do is grab this blue bar and pull it back. And again, we can zoom in, zoom all the way out, zoom in here, and we're going to get a lot more detail. So that's the key thing there. Now, what we want to do down the bottom here, we want to hit the preview button. We're going to click on preview. And now it has done this trimming. So now if we hit play, do you have one of these or one of these perhaps? And you can see here that all of this section at the start here is gone. So if we come, we'll just go right to the left. We'll drag our playhead right to the left, hit the play button. Do you have one of these or one of these? And there you go. We've lost all of that eight, nine minutes worth of stuff going on there. So all we need to do now is get rid of my head because we need to look at this button and we need to click the save button here in the top right corner. I'm going to click on save. It's going to say, yeah, it's going to take a few hours for your changes to go in. And I'm going to go, yep, that's cool. I'm going to click the save button here and the video is being processed. And that is all that there is to it. So what that will do now is it'll process that video and then in a couple of hours time, it'll remove those first eight or 
nine seconds. And then future folks who are watching the replay of that video are not going to see me sitting there staring at the camera looking creepy. They're just going to see the video start. So that's a really quick and simple way to remove any excess time from the start or the finish of your live streaming videos here on YouTube. So there you go, in just a couple of minutes, we've managed to come in here and edit this video so that future people do not have to look at Pete's face staring into their soul for that first 10 seconds. If you got some value out of this, hit the like button. You can tap on the Studio Live Today icon to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.